Hi everyone, welcome so much to another video. My name is Dolka Those of us who are new here, I'm a stay at home mom, I'm a wife, I also work from home. So if you are new here to this channel, kindly consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and even leaving a comment on the comment section. Yeah, so I realized that I didn't have an intro for this video and I may not have another chance to introduce it. So that's why I'm standing here to introduce the video. The quality may not be as it usually is but forgive me it is just for this part of the video yeah so today we'll be making some cinnamon buns no some milk buns and i'll be showing you what you need the the recipe is easy the ingredients are very few so i hope you stick around learn something and enjoy enjoy the video these buns are very easy they are simple buns they don't have much much of the work to do so they are very simple and I'm, as I'm saying they are going to use simple ingredients. So with me here I have <clears throat> I have a cup of warm milk and I have a cup of water. Yeah so here it's water and then my milk. I've just mixed it up <clears throat> because everything is going to mix up obviously. And then here I have uh, 2 tablespoons of dry yeast. I have my two tablespoons, 3 tablespoons of sugar and then I have 1 tablespoon of salt. And then on this other hand, I have some flour. This is all-purpose flour. Yeah, so I'll be using some all-purpose flour. And then I'll be using some margarine. Margarine will come the last, the last, uh, towards the last stage because um, I'll use it to, I'll use it like an egg wash. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? If you don't get, you'll see this, don't worry. So I have my margarine, but I'll be using it towards the last step. So guys, this, um, my buns are very easy as I said. So the first process, um, it is to mix uh, this, this uh, the instant yeast, the salt and the sugar together with the, together with the milk and the water. You can choose to use milk alone, but for me, I added it a bit of water because uh, see what water kwa hii nyumba wana kulanga maziwa, wana kunyo maziwa, so I just opted to uh, kunini, to add some water, yeah, I opted to add in some water, so I'm just going to mix this. Uh, so my mixture has become frothy now, this took around 5 minutes and I'll go in with the all-purpose baking flour. I'll need using my hands. My hands are clean, so I'll just go in with my hands. Need for a couple of minutes. Yeah. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you. Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue. They change, but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through You came into my life just like another season Not for long, just a time, just like another season Turn and change just like your mind Like the sun gives in to the moon Into the night Time continues marching It slowly crawls With each new one starting I recall Just a time, just like another season Maybe this time next year you'll reappear For no reason But I'll cherish every day Until you come my way this season The recipe 
requires you to knead the dough for quite a long time so i'll knead it for around 10 more minutes here and then i'll i'll continue adding a bit of flour i continue kneading but because this dough uh will not uh this dough becomes really sticky so by the end of it all i have to add in a bit of uh oil just to reduce the stickiness and then from there we'll be good to make the shapes and we'll be good to make the buns now memories like a never fading whisper it's all right this is the place or this is the step that you need to add in the, the to add in the oil because at this stage the dough is ready but it's a bit sticky and uh you add in a bit of oil to the dough need a little bit and then transfer your dough to a bowl and also to a bowl you have to add in a bit of cooking oil so i'll add it and spread it all over if you don't add in the oil uh the dough will stick all over and you do not want to do that yeah so i'll just add in the oil transfer my dough to the bowl and then i'll cover it with a clean film but before i add in the clean film i'll just also put in some a bit of oil a bit of oil so that the dough doesn't stick to the to the bread to the paper bread or to the cream film this day i didn't have cream film so i used the paper bread again after you've done this you need to 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 rest the dough rest you need to rest the dough rest for the first 15 minutes and this process where you rest the dough rest for the first time it's called fast proofing it's called fast proofing so i just cover my dough with a with a paper bread at this point you can use a cream film i just cover it like that and then put a towel on top put it in a warm place you can choose a microwave or you can choose the the oven and it will still work good so this one is in to go all right so my first 15 minutes are over and i've get uh, my dough is ready it is out of the microwave so you just punch it a little bit to get out the excess air and then you spread some flour on the working surface and then you st will start working on the dough this is the stage where we now want to cut the shapes so i'll go ahead and do so so i'll spread it cut the the, the dough into small pieces then we'll now uh, start to prepare the the dough The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue and They change but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through Just like another season Not for long, just a time Just like another season Maybe this time next year you'll reappear For no reason But I'll cherish every day Until you come my way this season Alright, so my shape are, my shapes are lovely cut, but uh, we need to make nice and round balls. So I'll go in with my hand, I'll start rolling it around, or even you can roll it on the surface. Just make a ball that is nice, and then you place it on the pan, on the baking pan. Now, at this stage, my pan is also ready. I have to grease it with some butter or some cooking oil. This day, I greased it with the, in fact, I greased it with the margarine, and then I'll place my my shape on the pan and that way they will be ready to they, they will be ready for the next process the next process is called second proof proofing and that one may also take around 15 or 10 minutes Come. you came into my life just like another season not for long just a time just like another season right so at this stage i'm also preheating my oven at 180 degrees for 10 minutes 
and then it will be ready to receive my my dough so i'll cover and let it dry <laughs> Right, so after the second 15 minutes of second proofing my dough it's now ready and uh, i'll just go in with some margarine i'll brush it on the on top to help in the browning so at this point if you take eggs this is the point that you add in the egg wash yeah but i decided not to add in the egg wash i decided to use in the margarine yeah at times i use the egg wash but sometimes i don't so on this day i just chose to go in with the margarine the margarine will keep the the, the dough super soft and then it will prevent it from cracking and the like so margarine is also nice so one of the errors or one of the mistakes i did on this day was cutting the dough in big big sizes i the sizes were really big you see them when they when they are ready they were big but these are homemade no much of a standard everything had cooked through uh, and we enjoyed the dough the, anyway the way we enjoyed the buns the way they came out anyway next time when i'm making it i'll have to reduce the, the the size of the dough but this day i had a lot in my mind i remember it's when my mom my, we we got a call that my mom needed an emergency surgery heart surgery so actually a lot was going on through me so i really had to finish up the dough and i was sh wishing that i didn't even start making these buns but because i had already started the process i couldn't stop so that's why i think i ended up making this this uh, these buns in big shapes but anyway they were yummy and they cooked through and i hope you followed the step-by-step -step tutorial because after this we are ready to go to the oven and we bake them for around 20 to 25 minutes The seasons come and go like thoughts of you. Yeah, so guys, my buns are ready. And the last step that I want to do is to apply the margarine on top. This margarine will help to keep the buns moist. Yeah, so they are well done. I just apply margarine, give them a few more minutes to cool. And I'll show you how they cool from the inside. Yeah, I know they look a bit big. Don't mind, they are homemade. And we said for homemade, we don't have that much of a standard. Yeah, so I just do this to the rest. Wait for them to cool down completely. And then I'll show you the outcome from the inside. So I'll continue to apply the margarine to each of the buns. Yeah, so I'll finish up that. And then we'll, we'll allow them to cool a little bit. And then we'll be cutting them through and see if they are cooked from the inside. The good thing or the main goal when you're cooking is to ensure whatever you are cooking has cooked through despite the shape, despite everything. Ensure that whatever you are cooking has cooked through. And that is one of the main, main goals when you're making something. Anyway, um, I want to say that despite these buns big, being so big, despite them looking that uh, the way they are looking, I want to say the shape did not match the taste because they were so good. They were so good. Although I feel like the shape is okay. It's, on, it's only the sizing and the sizing isn't a problem because they have cooked through. They have cooked through. And as I keep on saying, these are homemade buns or anything that you, you make it from home doesn't have to, to have that much of a standard. Guys, the, the, the thing you need to know is that they need to cook through and they need to be tasty and that is it on this day i was having so many calls that's why you see me receiving calls yeah so i had to receive calls as i'm still working on what i am marking on So my buns are ready i had promised you that i'm just going to wait for them to chill a little bit yeah i want to show you how they look from the inside they are well done they are really moist you can tell from the inside and then they are super soft yeah this is how i love my buns yeah so they are well cooked they are well cooked i love that this recipe came out so nice the way i had anticipated 
yeah so this is it for this recipe my people if you haven't tried uh, any bun recipe the buns recipe they are quite easy so please give yourself or you can just make a you can just try and make the buns yeah and i'm sure you won't regret it so here my buns are very yummy super moist on the inside crunchy on the outside and it was easy these are milk buns yeah my milk buns are ready and now guys allow me to end the video here uh thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end thank you for being here thank you for liking the video subscribing to those of us who always come back i appreciate your support to those of us who are new here please this is a, this is your chance to subscribe 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 like comment and also share this video yeah guys allowed me to end it here until my next one bye, bye.